Hey guys, how are you? Welcome into a Thursday morning edition of the Daily Juice podcast with me, Matt Peralt. How are you at Sports Talk? Matt, my Twitter handle. This podcast being brought to you by BetMGM. The offer is above me on YouTube. $10 to win $150 automatically with a new account. Use that promo code JUICE150 when you get a new account at BetMGM. So, welcome to the non-football, college basketball, college football side of the podcast. Man... This is tough. So I've gone through streaks like this, okay? And I've gone through Aprils, early Aprils, where I've been cold. End of the NBA season. End of the NHL season. I mean, I was betting unders on the Bulls so consistently. And then an over happened, and so I get kind of funky with it, and I decide to bet the over for the Celtics and the Bulls, rather than go right back to the Bulls against the Eastern Conference, and the over does not come in. Way off on the Pistons. They got thumped by the War- by the, the Mavericks. So it's an 0-2 night. 0-3, 0-2, 0-5 last two days. Cold, cold, cold. So we head towards the weekend. Thursday, today, happy opening day. Happy opening round of the Masters. The Red Sox and the Yankees got rained out or moved to Friday. So I have all my time for Tiger this morning. 10.30 Eastern Time, 7.30 Pacific Time. Tee off this morning. Some of you asked, you know, why was I fading Tiger? If I love Tiger, why would I fade Tiger? Why do I, why did I bet against him to make the cut? It spiked to minus 165. Hopefully you got it at minus 126, like we talked about last night. For him not to make the cut. Because I want him to make the cut. And I'm okay with losing if he makes the cut. I am. Because that means I can watch Tiger Woods play golf on Saturday and Sunday, and I'm perfectly cool with that. I don't need to win bets. I'm betting what I think happens, not what I hope happens. Tiger Woods making the cut would be amazing. Amazing for him to do it. And at the Masters, look, there's 90 players. Top 50 make the weekend. You've got like 20 guys out there that are complete garbage. So really has to beat 20 golfers. Can Tiger beat 20 golfers? Yeah, The opening round number for him was 76 and a half. At last check, it was down to 74 and a half, maybe 73 and a half. I don't know. I have no idea what Tiger is going to do. So for a guy who's not played golf in a year to just walk into a PGA Tour event and make the cut, that's why I'm betting Tiger Woods not to make the cut. Only a half a unit, but that's what I am doing, okay? So fade, follow, do whatever you want with it. That's totally fine by me, all right? We got Xander Shoffley going today. Xander to win the thing, to beat Jordan Spieth in a head-to-head. I like those two bets. Okay, we'll see if they cash on Sunday. I'm going to add, I'm going to give you one additional Masters bet here in just one second. So hopefully you guys can grab hold of it before the round begins. And then it's Major League Baseball. And I've got one half unit play to jump into. And I've got four yes or no runs in the first inning. Because if you have any idea what's going to happen today... Good for you, (laughs) because I don't think anybody really does. It's opening day. Who the hell knows what's going to happen? So I may throw away a unit. So what? Let's have some fun. Four different games throughout the day to watch. It's a one inning sweat, and then we move on to the next game. Okay, so I'm not really all that, you know, angry. If I lose some money today, I lose some money today. Just giving you a heads up, and I'm trying to be real. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm always honest. You guys have seen this before where I haven't, remember, I think it was like in July of last year, and I was like, damn it, get me to football season. And you all were like, why, Matt? And then I had the college football season, you're like, oh, that's why. (laughs) Yeah, that was why. Good in the NFL, good in the playoffs, great in college football. I haven't lost a college football bet. In 2022, I haven't lost a college football bet yet. I will lose some come this fall, but we had a very good month of January. So that's sort of the issue that I'm running into right now. And I just like to tell you guys, if you're new to the podcast, as to like what happens right now. It's it's tough. These are really difficult bets to hit. It's a lot of famine, and then you feast on one or two hits to hope to come back here, right? So let's get into it. Okay, I'll give you the Masters play here right away. BetMGM has this right now. Top Australian Cam Smith at plus one ten, half a unit, half a unit. It's Mark Leishman, it's Adam Scott, and it's Cam Smith. Okay, Cam Smith is a guy who could win this event. Cam Smith is a tremendous putter, uh, a guy who knows how to get 
onto greens in regulation. A guy who's long enough, but his putting is so important on this golf course. You've got to be able to put the ball in the right place and then hit some lengthy putts. And I know a lot of folks are jumping on Adam Scott, saying Adam Scott is putting really well. Adam Scott is a very popular bet at plus 350. I'm going to go a little chalk here, and I'm going to go for a guy who I think could win the whole damn thing. Cam Smith can win this golf course, can win this golf tournament, 100%. For him to just beat two other guys, to be the top Australian at plus 110 for a half a unit, yes. It was plus 200, by the way, two days ago. It's come all the way down to plus 110. Still got plus money on it, so I think there's still value here, but there have been a lot of people who are riding this bet. It's kind of sucked a lot of the value out of it, but it's still, I think there is some value left. Cam Smith adding on to the Masters for a half a unit here to be the top Australian golfer at the Masters. Bet MGM's got it this morning at plus 110. Okay, jumping on that for Cam Smith. Let's go to baseball, all right? And let's talk about where we are. I only have one half unit play to give you guys, and it's JT Brubaker versus Adam Wainwright. Pirates at the St. Louis Cardinals. There is pirate money coming in, which I'm stunned by. But what it did with pirates money on the money line, it drove all the prices down on the Cardinals. And last night, I got plus money at the Westgate here in Vegas, laying one and a half runs on the Cardinals. Adam Wainwright has dominated the Pirates. The Pirates are not going to be good. And this team for the St. Louis Cardinals, they are going to score. Now, it's one game. It's the first game of the year. You hope that that's what's going to happen here today. But against Brubaker and a pitching staff and a bullpen that is not great for the Pirates, they're being projected to be very poor again this season. You got Yachty. You got Goldsmith. You got Arenado. You've got some big bats here in this lineup. Pujols will come in probably at some point during this game on opening day. Probably pinch hit late. There's no pitching No batters for the pitchers, okay? The DH is in the National League. We're going over one and a half, or or laying one and a half runs with the Cardinals at plus 105 for a half a unit. Cardinals over the Pirates, okay? Cardinals over the Pirates. They've got to win by two runs or more here in this one. I think they score a lot of runs. I think Wainwright pitches really well because he owns this team. Going to take the plus one and a half. Cardinals, plus 105 for a half a unit here on the run line on opening day. Now, let's get to the four other bets. So, let's start with the first day, first game of the day, Milwaukee and Chicago. Corbin Burns up against Kyle Hendricks, who has not been good last year, not been good in the spring, in spring training, ERA of nearly five last year. For Chicago, Corbin Burns has been pretty well. So he pitched really well. So this is probably going to be on the on the Brewers to score here in the top of the first inning. It's an early start time. It's a 1:20 first pitch Central Time start here, but it's going to be chilly with the wind blowing out with gusts as high as 20 miles per hour at Wrigley Field. All right. First inning, maybe Burns gets rocked as well. Maybe he gets up a home run, gets hit, you know, one swing, scores a run here. First inning, yes to an, a plus 105 Pirate. I'm sorry, no, no, no. Minus 130, sorry. Over one run or over a half a run. So, so yes on the yes, no runs. Yes at minus 130 for the Brewers and the Cubs to score a run. The reason? The wind it's blowing out. At Wrigley Field, day game, cold, not, I mean, 43 degrees, not warm, but the ball should travel with the wind blowing it out. Maybe a pop fly gets the thing. You can elevate the ball, elevate the ball, can leave the stadium. We're going to go ahead and jump in on this, on the yes. Yes, run, Cubs and the Brewers. Second game on the schedule, Pittsburgh in St. Louis. Previously mentioned, JT Brubaker against Adam Wainwright. Wind also blowing out at Bush Stadium to the tune of 17 to 18 miles per hour. Okay, so we've got that 17 to 18 miles per hour. So the yes is plus 105, which is kind of interesting. Wainwright against the Pirates who don't really score all that many runs, but Brubaker probably gives up a run here. 
you know, JT Brubaker, not the greatest of pitchers. 5-13 and 13 last year with a 5.36 ERA. Let's have him lose a game. Give up a run. Big first inning. St. Louis scores. We're going yes to a run at plus 105 for the Pirates and the Cardinals. By the way, all four of these bets are a quarter unit. I should have mentioned that. Quarter unit bet on all four of these wagers. Okay? So, yes, run in the first inning, Brewers-Cubs. Yes, run in the first inning, Pirates-Cardinals. Yes, run in the first inning, the Reds and the Braves. Look, I, I know this might be a little bit of a scary one here, but I'm going to jump in with these two lineups. I think they're going to score against these pitchers. So, Against uh, this is ESPN two game at five o'clock Pacific eight o'clock. It's going to run in the first inning. I know it's Max Freed, but hopefully we get some runs here. I think the, the Reds could hit them. Yes, run in the first inning is minus one hundred five, and I am playing one no. Houston at Los Angeles, Bramber Valdez, Shoatani on the mound. Show was phenomenal at home last year on the mound and phenomenal early in the year before the innings started to mount. The no is minus 115. Framber Valdez was pretty darn good. In fact, I think the Astros at plus money could win this game outright. 11 and 6, 3.14. I'm going to bet the no here for a run in the first inning. Both starting pitchers get off to a good start. Framber Valdez, Shoatani, we're going no run at minus 115 in the first inning for a quarter unit. All right? So, those are the plays. Cam Smith, top Australian, coming in at plus 110, half a unit. We are taking the Cardinals, laying one and a half runs on the run line against the Pirates for a half a unit. Yes, run in the first inning in the Pirates, Cardinals, Brewers, Cubs, Reds, and the Braves, no run in the first inning for the Astros and the Angels. Four bets, all for a quarter unit in play there. Two units being bet today for a Thursday's edition of the Daily Juice Podcast. My name is Matt Peralta. You can follow me on Twitter at Sports Talk Matt. Make sure you get to the Discord channel. By the way, if you got kicked out by mistake, it was a mistake. Go check it out. Bettingpros.com slash chat. Re-enter, get back in, be a part of the community. We apologize for that. It was not meant to be done. It was a mistake. Come back in, be a part of the community for us here on the Discord channel. Link is underneath me here on YouTube. I'm Matt Peralt, at Sports Talk Matt on Twitter. Every morning, it's the Taylor Juice Podcast. Always being brought to you by BetMGM.